Hi and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Linda, I am the owner of Schminke Green, a special effects makeup store in the Netherlands and in today's video we are going to talk about special effects gelatin. The gelatin you can use on your skin to create burn wounds, wounds, prosthetics and any other effect you would want to create. In today's video we are going to work with the gelatin by Titanic Effects and that is obviously because it is my favorite brand of gelatin. This gelatin is a little firmer than other gelatins I have worked with and it always gives amazing results but you can also work with a gelatin by Benai it's called the FX gel or the gelatin by Meron which is called 3D gel. If you are really adventurous you can also make your own gelatin but be sure to know that you cannot make your own gelatin with the gelatin you can buy at the grocery store. The uh, gelatin is too weak you need a strong gelatin a 300 bloom or uh, stronger than that even and that looks like this is kind of small grains of a gelatin. We have this at our store and you can easily make your own gelatin with something like this but it takes a while to get the perfect gelatin and that is why usually I just take the Titanic FX gelatin. If you are going to work with gelatin there are a few more items you will need. First up you will need a stainless steel spatula. This one is by Schminke Rim. It's our own brand but you can also get it by Meron. Uh, you will need a setting powder to set the makeup once it is done and get rid of all the shininess that is in the gelatin. This is the neutral set powder by Benai. It is my favorite brand of a setting powder. You can also use a gelatin blender. It is to melt away any edges or bits of your gelatin that you don't really like and obviously you also need some color. So as always I am going to work with alcohol activated makeups because they are my favorite to work with but you can also use a grease paint or a water based makeup over your gelatin. But um, gelatin attracts water so if you are going to work with water based face paints don't use too much water or you will get kind of a gooey mess on your skin. So I have the Skin Tones Light to Dark Palette by Encore Europe body art. I have the SFX palette also Encore European body art and I have the autopsy palette also by Encore European Body Art. I'm not really going to use blood this week because I want to make a burn wound and I don't really want to use any blood on that but if you're going to make really big wounds you can just apply blood over your gelatin. So if you have your gelatin you have kind of a firm block of it and uh, I have had numerous emails of people telling me well I purchased this but it's broken because I can't work with it well that is correct or that is incorrect actually as it comes in the packaging that is for this one but also for the 3D gel by Meron and the FX gel by Benai you need to warm it up for it to become a product you can work with so I put a little bit of the gelatin in a baby bottle warmer. I don't know if that is the correct term in English but in Dutch it translates to baby bottle warmer and I put a little bit of the gelatin in a glass and just heated it up with the water in that warming device. You can also put it in the microwave but the thing you do not ever want to do with gelatin is let it boil because if it boils the texture of the gelatin breaks and it doesn't become a solid mass again and you will be stuck with all of that goo on your skin that doesn't really set anymore. So this has been warmed to a uh, pretty high temperature. I think this is about 60 degrees at this point. So before you are going to apply the gelatin to your skin you first want to check that it isn't too warm because if it is too warm you will get actual burn wounds and that is not what we want to do in special effects makeup. So usually I just take the gelatin and my spatula put a little bit of the gelatin on there and test it on the inside of my wrist. The skin on there is very thin and very sensitive so if you can handle the gelatin on that area you are good to go on your skin. 
So gelatin is used to create the famous melted skin effects which you have probably seen loads of those on Instagram, YouTube and other social medias. You can use gelatin to create your own prosthetics with uh, instead of for instance silicone. It is a little bit cheaper than silicone so it is a nice way to start making your own prosthetics but you can also make wounds and burn wounds with it on your skin and that is what I'm going to do today and in tradition of this Halloween series I'm just going to use my cheek to demonstrate the effect on. So working with gelatin is pretty easy uh, but it does take a little bit of time so as long as it is warm you can move it around on the skin and if it cools down you you will be stuck with what you created. It's kind of like with the sculpt gel, you have a limited time and once the time is done, you better be happy with what you did because it is what you will have. Um, gelatin is a perfect product to work with in cool environments, but if you are going to go to a very crowded Halloween party or have a warmth or heat, you have to think of maybe gelatin isn't the product for you because as it melts on higher temperatures it also melts if your skin gets too warm or if the environment is very warm or when there is loads of moisture in the air or it rains gelatin probably isn't the best product to choose but you can create amazing effects with it so i have it on my spatula and i'm just going to apply it on my cheek like i did with the other products in this halloween series so you do not need that much uh, gelatin to create a nice looking effect which you just want to have enough of it so you can create an effect so what I'm doing now is just dabbing the gelatin over my skin and when I start doing this not that much will happen because the gelatin is very soft it will just get back to a flat layer on my skin but as it cools down you will be able to make nice looking effects with it so i'm just dragging it everywhere trying to create a nice burn wound just so any little imperfections on the edges you have you can just easily get rid of them with that blender so there is the effect i know you probably can't really see a lot of it yet because i have a clear gelatin but when we get our neutral set powder and put that over the gelatin to get rid of the shininess that is in the gelatin, the effect will become very clear on camera because everything will turn white. And if at this point you are not happy with any of the effects you see on your skin, you can just go back in there with the gelatin blender the powder doesn't affect the properties of that gelatin blender at all but with powdering your gelatin you can really see your edges and if you did the job you wanted to do so i am pretty happy for now with the shape of our gelatin wound and that is why I'm continuing to the alcohol and the alcohol activated makeup to get some color in there. So I'm starting out with a brown color which is in the autopsy palette and I'm just going to get some shadow in the deepest parts of the gelatin onto a rosy red color to get that gelatin a little bit more into my skin tone there it is better blended on my skin and now i do want to add a little bit of red obviously because this is a wound and it would kind of have some irritations don't just keep on the gelatin make sure you also get a little bit of that irritation on your skin don't forget to put a few highlights on your makeup. And there it is, a very quick and fast burn scar on my cheek. So if I would apply this in a makeup, I would probably do loads more of the skin than only this little bit on my cheek. But this is the basic idea of working with the gelatin. 
And when your party is done and you want to remove the makeup again, it is very easy with gelatin. So I have a baby wipe and I'm just going to grab that gelatin and remove it from the skin. So I will just let go of the baby wipe for a minute to show you that it all almost comes from the skin in one go. So this doesn't hurt, it sticks to the skin, but it isn't really stuck to the skin, so it's pretty easy to remove. And as it is affected by water, it's pretty easy to get rid of all of it. So I'm gonna get rid of as much as I can just with this little baby wipe. And it is sticky, so it sticks to my fingers instead of my face. But you can just get it all on that baby wipe. And that is it for me, giving you a few tips on working with FX Gelatin directly on your skin. If you had fun watching this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel in the link below. Stay tuned on all our videos. For now, I wish you a wonderful day. And of course, I hope to see you back here next time.